。はい。Thank you, 長田さん。<笑> Hello, everybody.、Uh, Continuous of the Heart Sutra、uh, study. So,、um, we cannot.、Um, uh, by the way, I'm sorry about、uh, the last week and、uh, the week before. The, there was some、uh, error that they couldn't record it. So it's up on YouTube. Anyway,、uh, the continuous is. Zeko Kuchi Mushki Nuju Sogyoshi. Zeko Kuchi Mushki Nuju So, yo, six. <clears throat> well, I just uh, uh, translated uh, the、uh, sentence. Therefore, to, therefore, in the emptiness. Okay. <clears throat> just uh, just a simple translation. Therefore, in, in the、uh, emptiness, there is no phenomenon,、uh, there is no、uh, <coughs> the sense, sense, there is no image, there is no recognition. So, <laughs> so many people、uh, interpret e d that、uh, emptiness means no, nothing exists. Um, but the Sangha interpretation is different. <clears throat> Because we are talking about、um, the evidence doesn't mean that nothing exists, right? So, evidence is a it's, it's source, source of all creation infinitely. The creation itself is infinity. Okay? <clears throat> There's no limit in the world of in the world of God, in the world of Buddha, in the world of Amitya Buddha. There's no limitation. Creation is infinity.、Uh, we, but we have a, a very much limited image because we were born、uh, as a human being、uh, in this world. Which means we try to limit image. So even we hear the word unlimited, we cannot ima imagine. We have, this, we have a, a prob problem to imagine that something, in, something infinitive create, creative creation, infinitive pressure. It means that、uh, there's no, never ends.、Uh, Every moment the pressure of happiness increases. Every moment the new creation、uh, no, going on. Every moment and more and more、uh, the lightness, more and more.、Uh, just everything increases. This is infinity and, and this, is, this is the real meaning of the,、uh, the cool, emptiness. <coughs> Okay, I、uh, know, let's, let's, let's continue. So, it, when Mu is if it's direct translation, it means nothing. So, we make, we make mistake that oh, Mu, nothing, nothing feminine, nothing good. <laughs> no, yeah, nothing sense, nothing, nothing, to, nothing to sense, nothing to image, nothing to recognize. No, no, no. When we、uh, find the word of, of Mu in a sutra, it means that infinity. Because of emptiness is also creation which is. Uh, 
amidatu to itself. Eh? So phenomenon is infinity. As depend on uh, depend on depend on your image. If your image is limited, phenomenon is limited. If your if your image is a more increases, the phenomenon increases. Please uh, no, imagine that just uh, maybe like look, right? No one imagined that we can uh, show like this in the diff in uh, as a opposite side of the of the earth like this, right? We never imagined maybe 30 years ago, but it happened it, because somebody imagined it might be happened. Uh, well, like for example, yeah, like a, uh, if it's 100 years ago, nobody thought that the human being can fly. Nobody thought that uh, after yeah, in 10 hours we can go to the other side of the planet. But somebody imagined oh, people can, we can fly. And then that realizes, right? So mm, as, as much what you imagine is what you realize. This is a really basic principle of the universe. Just the difference between the human being world and the uh, non human being world. Non human being world means uh, Mm. either pure land or hell or fasting hell no human being world is difference is human being world has um, it takes time some time to realize right like uh, if somebody keep imagining something and that happens maybe one year after maybe one month after Maybe ten years later, but it happens. As depending on how much you continue, or how much strongly you imagine. But non-human being world, another world, is, uh, is uh, at the same time it happens. Phenomenon is totally uh, synchronized with image. This is uh, a non-human being world. So somebody who is really positive. At the same time, it happens. But as somebody who is negative, it happens at the same time. So it's really non-human being world is really hell for who is negative. Non-human being world is heaven for who is positive. This is a different. This is a different. How? Uh, <coughs> This is how it uh, <coughs> creates of the uh, hell and hell, the, the difference of the hell and hell. <laughs> if it's human being world, it, it, even some, sometimes you, you you might think that okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you or <laughs> something like this, but it doesn't happen, right? <laughs> Maybe sometimes happen, but it doesn't usually happen. But in the another world. Um, it, it, it happens same time, but imagine. So, or I know, what to imagine positively, it happens at the same time. There's no limitation in the pure. There's no limitation in another world. So, <clears throat> human being world or human life is a term of the morat moratorium. Okay. Moratorium means uh, that uh, mm -mm. because even how much you 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 imagine, it doesn't ha happen at the same time. We have some uh, time to uh, realize, so it's a moratorium time. But anyway, mūshiki mūju sōgyōshiki means that because of uh, 
、えー、空間。Because of the source of the, all creation is a middle of the、ね、Nothing is limited. Nothing is limited. Means it's infinitely phenomenal. It's infinitely. As much as you imagine, as, as depend on how, as, as you wish you imagine. Everything in the world will be rich. There's no limitation. That's pure. Right? There's also the sense, the body sense is also infinity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, okay, the what you recognize is also infinite. So, but when you find no nothing in a sutra, it means please understand, especially in the Heart Sutra, Heart Sutra, especially in Heart Sutra, it means infinity. Please. Uh, Mugen, so, next is Mugen Nibi Desin. Again, right? Mugen. Again. Nibi. Zets Shin I. And this means Yen is I. And Ni is. Okay, in moment. <laughs> Ni is ear. It's about the sense. B is nose, what you smell. Zet is tongue. What you taste, see the body, body sense, and E is a, is a mind or heart. So what this means? <coughs> yeah. We have a, a, the physical eye is limited, but if you open heavenly eye, you start seeing, um, you start seeing, for example. You, you'll be able to see key or you'll be able to see and uh, much more uh, you find you might find much more a uh, beauty about the world yeah. <coughs> for example physical eye yeah. it, it, it's really physical is physical eye we human being have the same uh, sense but it depends on the person it's really different, right? Some people find very beautiful in, in the picture. But some people don't feel, don't sense the beauty in the picture. It's, still, it's depending on what, what the sense of the heart. So, then, <clears throat> some people find very beautiful in, in, the, uh, in the flower. Some people are limited. <clears throat> uh, but, So, in the Buddhism, you know, we teach that there is five eyes, for example. Yeah? Physical eye, uh, physical eye, heavenly eye. Heavenly eye is that, uh, as I said, you know, seeing he or seeing other person's heart or uh, seeing other persons, etc. <laughs> Past life, seeing other persons, uh, you, <coughs> your own uh, next life, or another, seeing another world, or, or those are heavenly eye. And then another eye uh, is uh, uh, again, it's the wisdom eye. Wisdom eye is uh, you directly contact, connect with uh, the art, emptiness. Emptiness means the source of the, you see the source of the creation. So it's different. Like uh, what the difference is between heavenly eye and wisdom eye? Heavenly eye is a use even you see key or you even you see um, the even you see um, more than the phys- what you see in the physical eye, right? there's some slightly some uh, separation of the slightly subject and object. Slightly. But in a wisdom eye, right? you directly connect to the emptiness. So there's no 
a separation of subject and object. This is uh, wisdom eye. And the next level is Dharma eye. Dharma eye is directly see the pure land and three thousand words. Dharma is what is see the pure land. So um, when we hear the word when we hear the word seeing the pure land or seeing the Buddha, we uh, it's easy to make misunderstand that easy to be make misunderstand that uh, we see Buddha or we see pure land objectively. But actually it's not. There's no separation in the object and subject in the Dharma when you recognize uh, see the Buddha. Because it's yourself is the Buddha and you recognize the Buddha and you see the Buddha. Yourself is the pure in, in the pure land and you see the, the pure land. So this is another uh, dimension of the eye. That's we, uh, no, what's called Dharma eye. And the fifth step of the uh, the Buddha eye. Buddha eyes, wisdom eye and dharma eye uh, unified. You see pure and at the same time you are directly connected to uh, em emptiness, the source of all creation of the universe. This is the Buddha eye. And of course, Sakamuni Buddha had Buddha eye. <coughs> and, uh, <coughs> And the ben, Saint Bene uh, had a Buddha eye. Honen saw the, see the Puran, or Honen and other masters of the Puran, they see the Dharma, and the Puran with the Dharma eye. And many Zen masters, uh, they see uh, the connect to the emptiness with wisdom eye. But heavenly eye is before the enlightened. Before the having died, before the enlightenment, but you see more than the, what you see in the physical physical eye. So sometimes you see <laughs> maybe angel, maybe you see a past life, maybe you see this and that, but uh, it's he heaven die, heaven die, and it's before the enlightenment. As there's many people uh, misunderstand that they think that they got enlightened by opening the heavenly eye and they start to become guru and that's how they make mistake <clears throat> so uh, yeah some some <laughs> sometimes uh, those gurus who opens a, a heavenly eyes they become really weird in the end but in the beginning, uh, they're okay. But when when they thought it's uh, enlightened, they make mis misunderstand that they are enlightened. Then it started to uh, to be uh, long missed away. Uh, sorry, one second. Now the most enlightened one. これで大丈夫できるのかちょっと見て。自分に辛くて。これ面白いところ。そう。そう。そう。あやすく見せなかったとと、to <笑> the Dharma talk uh, in English, there were four people watching me because they are curious and it was so hard that I could not be so much, <laughs> could feel free to talk. <laughs> and so I asked him to. Anyway, okay, let's get back to the subject. So, <clears throat> so <clears throat> there's one, uh, the one measurement, right? if that 
if that glue is is wrong or right, one measurement. So what is it? One of the measurements is when that person starts saying that, the, or they start talking as he's special. That glue is wrong. Please understand. Uh, basic enlightenment of Buddha is nothing exists in independently. Nothing individual exists. It's only um, the only the relationship of each other exists in the universe. Nothing individual exists. So there's not there's no one who is special. Right? Some people think I'm uh, he or she oh I'm special. I'm enlightened, I'm special. This is this is very much uh, wrong. This is wrong. This is not right. Right like recognition is wrong. And each person's inner world and internal world of each person, every person, every human, every existence, every living thing of internal internal world of each individual, okay, there is all three thousand world. Everything is in each person. Everything is, yeah, for example, in my heart, there is heaven, there is heaven, there is pure, and there is fasting. Each person, even Buddha, even Jesus, every in the in world of each person, all 3,000 worlds of the universe is exist. Okay? This is the basic principle of the of the of the universe. Okay, Buddha, uh, Buddhist philosophy, it says that every every different ten world include each other. There's nothing in the middle like this. There's no like different stages. Okay, but why we should, especially human being, why we human being have uh, hell in our heart. Why I, um, why human being has also Buddha in our heart? Uh, any? You do you know why? <laughs> because uh, we are our if our human being. We human being exist to understand each other. And to emphasize each other. For example, if somebody who killed okay, somebody who killed his father, anyway, any any criminal, any criminal, any crime, some some somebody really like kill somebody or father or something. If I or somebody who come and tell him, hey, you're a bad guy, you have to fix yourself. He will not change. Because he, if person feel that um, will be saved, it means that only if that person felt that they were understood. You, you understand? Because to be understood means that they can feel that they are loved. There's no love without understanding. So, if I don't have, they realize that I have the same part with this guy, I cannot emphasize him. And if I don't emphasize, if I don't understand, if I don't show the understanding, oh, I understand that you, I have the same thing, I have the same part. If I don't, at least recognize and at least realize and at least feel that I have the same. This person will never feel that uh, to be emphasized. 
and only when somebody can uh, believe from the negative karma, they need to be understood, they need to be emphasized. And that's why I also have, some, everybody has each other, everything each other. You, you got this? You, you understand this mean? Why you have negativity? Is to understand the, about the, the person who is negative. Okay. It's, <clears throat> otherwise, if you don't recognize our negativity in our heart, we will judge that person. And Jesus said, don't judge, right? And also, uh, when he when he found when Jesus found a uh, people trying to throw stone to the to the woman uh, who had the uh, fooling with the other other guy, uh, even she had a husband, and then Jesus, you know, you, 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 you know that Jesus said, yeah, "Okay, throw the stone." Who says that? Uh, who never. Um, did sing, sing means uh, who never has guilt. And one person there, the next person leave, and everybody left. And in the end, Jesus said, I also don't throw stone, I will not judge you. Please leave, don't do any anymore, and please leave, go away. It means that uh, Jesus also saw. Realize that inside, on the same heart, and show empathy, and that, and that you might be saved because of the uh, to be understood and to be saved, to be empathized. Anyway, uh, <coughs> so don't believe who, who said who's enlightened. <laughs> don't believe that he's special. Okay. Well, uh, you can believe if you want, okay? But I don't. <laughs> you have, we have all everything in our heart. Yeah? Why somebody special? Uh, oh, <clears throat> oh, so uh, not only uh, the eye, also there's ear, heavenly ear, wisdom ear, dharma ear, Buddha ear. Yeah? And, uh, <clears throat> traditionally, in since the ancient times. Who does nembutsu? You know, listens the beautiful mu music sometimes in nembutsu, right? We maybe I you know even in a sangha dojo, and some people hear the voice of the very beautiful voice. It means, you know, heavenly people and <coughs> angels come to do nembutsu with us. So, uh, some people listen the sound of the very similar to uh, the birds and uh, that's a uh, bird of the pure land eh? that's open up when you open up the heavenly ear or and you start listening and uh, <clears throat> nose ka, smell eh? some some people smell so beautiful you know smell in in a neighbor too but <clears throat> I never I know, experience, but some people, I hear some people does. And the town, some people really taste the eh, of the pure land in the neighbors. Uh, it says in the sutra that the pure land food has 100 tastes. No. We only know the human being food, but eh, pure land food, eh, more, more infinitely increases uh, your happiness. More hundred, more than more than more than, maybe hundred means that uh, it's a symbol of the infinite everything. Uh, you you thought that there's no, there's no food in pure? Land? It's not that boring, but <laughs> it's much more uh, happy place, and because it's much more wider and rich sense we, we want to have uh, just seeing eh, the body is also body sense so big so, mm. body sense also changes that eh? when, when our ego is strong ego is connecting to the touch sense 
So touch sense become very sensitive. But uh, when we receive unification from a uh, great love of Amida, um, less and less our body sense, but increases more uh, another body sense, another speech body sense, and we feel much more, which is much more um, pleasure. It's interesting, eh? but it doesn't mean that eh, we uh, we don't feel we don't feel so much physical uh, pleasure. Don't think this way. Eh? We have a you know, for a long time uh, the religion taught people not to enjoy the life. So we imagine when when we hear the word. Eh? When, and when open up those uh, sense sense, and we we easily imagine that ne, our pressure become less, but it's not. <laughs> physical pressure is be more, and non physical more than more than non physical pressure also increases. Okay? Please don't limit ne. And our in our history division division. Uh, very much uh, made people's understanding narrow about uh, the real uh, world, pure and world, real world of, uh, of the God, real world of Buddha. So, when Mu doesn't mean nothing, it's really old, old age interpretation. Okay. Now, we open up the new stage of the Buddhism in Taosang, with Taosanga. Mu means infinitely increases and we don't have to deny our physical pressure. We don't have to diffuse this. We don't have to reject, re reject the uh, human life. It will be much more rich. Please understand, when we, when we decide, determine purpose of the life, purpose of life to open up our uh, infinite pure world if we desire the, uh, the purpose of our living we become much more fortunate we get more we open up more uh, fortune for every aspect of the life <clears throat> we have uh, uh, misunderstanding about uh, about God, <laughs> about Buddha, that when we open up, when we put the purpose of the life of the enlightened, and we have to give up uh, the human life uh, happiness. But it's not. It's going to be more and more. Don't be afraid. Yeah? <clears throat> Buddha is uh, preparing all the happiness in your life. It, it's just waiting that to open your heart and in that direction. Okay. Now we open up the new uh, new dimension of the, uh, the Buddhism that no uh, means that infinity uh, happiness that all the source of the happiness is from Amida Buddha. And uh, the key is the word of Namamida, it opens up, it opens up between yourself and the source of all the happiness. Please uh, accept that fortune of, that you receive from under Buddha. Okay, uh, this week we finish uh, for this week. And I see you next week again, same time, same channel. Bye.